Next on News Be Funny, McDonald's Happy Meals, Animal Zoo drive through Facts About Reindeer, all of this and more, starting now. Here's anchor Holly Strano with how to keep houseplants flourishing. If you want green in your home but you have a brown thumb, we have help. <laughs> New hotel development is coming to St. John's County. Anchor Anthony Austin has the story. Another margarita, ho another margarita, vo uh. <laughs> you can spit it out. I know what you're saying. I haven't had a margarita. <laughs> Another Margaritaville Hotel is planned for the First Coast. This one in St. John's County, Heather. <laughs> That's right. For the timing on when to expect rain to arrive in Chicago, here's meteorologist Morgan Kochmeyer. You've got many dry hours with just a few isolated showers. Some drizzed, uh, dri <laughs> Drizzled. That's uh, drizzle and mist combined. Yeah, I if like you were it. wondering, yeah. it's a new word. I'm pitching it to Skilling yeah. later today. Yes. I think he's going to be on. We board. need a 2022 yeah. slang word. Heads up go. for the drizzle. There you go. Let's check in on meteorologist Brooke Richardson. She's tracking severe thunderstorms in the Florida Panhandle. We are still seeing this storm with the history of producing tornadoes, history of producing damage, and we are going to be dealing with uh, this over the next few moments. <laughs> Now we do have. For ways to stay safe during extreme heat in Washington, D.C., here's meteorologist Matthew Capucci. Heat indices above 100 degrees, so take it easy later on today if you're heading outside. Any plans, if you're working outdoors, gardening, anything like that, make sure you have the sunscreen, you stay air conditioned if you can, go inside for frequent breasts, and of course, uh, make sure you have uh, water as well. Gotta stay hydrated on days like today because you'll definitely be sweating. Let's send it out to meteorologist Michael Behrens. He joins us with winter conditions from the weather deck. Yeah, it's all fun and games uh, out here on the weather deck, but if you're on the roads and you come across some of these slippery conditions, it can really get dangerous out there tonight. It's not like the past couple of days where the threat's easily visible if the, the thick, heavy snow. Take a look at this uh, wide view here of the weather deck. It's just completely glazed over and... Oh my goodness, that did not feel good. <laughs> <laughs> For a breakdown of the seven-day forecast in Eau Claire, here's meteorologist Derek Dahlman. The 80s, again, that will come with at least isolated chances of showers and storms, but overall, I know I will be pulling the shorts off, or shorts out rather, next week. <laughs> no, I'm not taking my shorts off. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just, I don't need my jacket anymore, but oh, you got us good. All right, thanks, Derek. <laughs> Coming up next, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> now to sports with anchor Taylor Viles. ABC, ABC 22 News. I'm here. Josh, thank you. Well, the Vermont men's soccer team is in the SYR right now, ahead of a game the guys really didn't expect to be in. Our Taylor Viles talked to players moments before they left campus this morning. You saw him jetting through the newsroom. Here he is right now. Hey Lauren, that's right. This team is confident and ready to go. Let's get updated. Presenters Michael Rowland and Lisa Miller have the morning headlines down under. Hello. We're here this Friday morning. You are watching News Breakfast and it is good to have <laughs> your company. Should we kneel down, Lisa? I is think that we better? should. It must be Friday. Here we go. We're going to rise to the occasion. And can I say, happy 90th birthday, ABC. Take it away, Lisa. Thank you, Michael. Here's a live look at the morning commute in Des Moines with reporter Ticia Muzinga. Issues out there. Gosh, I am having a horrible week with this clicker. Okay, there we go. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Just know that things are looking fine. We do have a, a vehicle stall report over the East Mixmaster, so it uh, doesn't look like you can see it on camera, but we'll keep our eyes in this area. But otherwise, we're not seeing any crash reports out there. There's no issues. You guys should be uh, good for your morning commute out there. Have you tried kicking it? I don't it or know. Like, I'm gonna... it? That's next, right? <gasps> Live TV folks, oh, no. <laughs> this morning we're also keeping an eye on TCS shoes, the road, oh, you name it. Let's find out what type of grill cooks the best tasting food. Reporter Jennifer Krause has the details. Well, Jennifer Krause joins us now from her own grill, which appears to be what, a gas grill, Jennifer? Your team gas? <laughs> I've, I've got gas. Some people, some people, uh, wait, wait a minute, that didn't come out right. I've got a gas grill. Some people prefer charcoal grills. 
<laughs> and you know, either way you cut it, you can't go wrong, even with hamburgers at 6 a.m. grilling food. For the first alert forecast in Atlanta, here's meteorologist Ella Dorsey. One of those days when you just want to like shave your head because it's going to be so hot. I don't know about that, Gervier, but maybe just stay in the shade. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Good morning to you. Here's a look at what's going on. We got a cold front headed into our air from the rest. Oh, gosh. For the rest of this newscast, I'm just going to be imagining bald Gravier in the sunshine. <laughs> Auntie Anne's is releasing a new limited edition item. Anchor Dan Janig has more. Auntie Anne's is collaborating with Evil Genius Bear Company to release a limited edition October Fest, October Fest Lager Bear. Beer. <laughs> I, 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 excuse bear. Me, I promise I haven't had one before the newscast. The beer dubbed is... Um, is a butter a carb? I swear I read the story before the show. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> I think so. I might be. Anyways, is brewed with imported German hops and malts, as well as Auntie Anne's soft pretzels, which I've never had. It's the, yeah, I, know. I don't. I don't understand that. You're gonna learn that. We need to buy this man a pretzel. Thank you. I don't get out much. You'll learn this about me. It's designed to be enjoyed alongside an Auntie Anne's pretzel. The bear now available at stores in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Well, you made it through that read. <laughs> It's now time for the morning mix with reporter Gianna Franco. Lionel Messi um, takes the top spot, soccer star. So, okay. yeah. I'll take spot 200 <laughs> if those are the numbers we're seeing in the top 10. You, you'd be doing pretty good. You'd be doing <laughs> but pretty I can't good. play basketball worth a lick. I'm all right at football. Are you? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. doing a little run, you know, a little catch. You know I am not. <laughs> Amanda, though, you are an athlete, you're an ice skater. Balls, though. <laughs> Hand eye coordination. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> all right. It's not all right. there. I'll, well, I'll stick to blades. We'll watch the Warriors. We'll cheer them on tonight as uh, <laughs> hopefully they make it to the next round in the playoffs. Hopefully. <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> in our next half hour, more turmoil for Twitter. <laughs> Developing now, reporter Nicholas Crum is in Santiago with the latest on a house burglary. Es un sector bastante tranquilo, un barrio muy residencial, pero que lamentablemente en el último tiempo se ha ido notando cómo ha estado eh, aumentando lamentablemente esta situación de los robos. Evidentemente la sensación con la que está generándose este tipo de, de cosas acá ha complicado un poco la seguridad del sector y también de lo que hoy en día se puede considerar eh, sí, y evidentemente hay una situación complicada que tiene que ver con eh, lo que ocurre acá en, el, en la comuna de La Reina. Eh, poder obviamente tener algunas medidas o contrarrestar lo que vaya sucediendo con eh, alguna situación de, de carácter delictual. Hay obviamente la sensación de inseguridad de los vecinos y por lo mismo también eh, hoy día estuvimos conversando con ellos y vamos a escuchar la declaración de los propios vecinos. ¿Se robó mi audífono el... Sí, se robó mi audífono el loro, por eso te digo. New survey says what moms really want for Mother's Day. Anchor Melanie Lawson has the results. Deciding what to give mom on Mother's Day can be difficult, but you don't have to look far to put a smile on her face. According to Lending Tree, most moms just want to be left alone and not spend any time with their families. Oh, I'm sorry, that just came out. That isn't what was on the um, script, actually. That we want cards. And we want quality time with our loved ones. It held a survey and found that 36% of moms said they wanted a card. And 32% wanted to spend a day with their kids. I guess I'm an um, anomaly then. It also asked shoppers what they are planning to do. 73% said they still plan to give her a physical gift. Only one out of five people only plan to spend the day with her. And 99.9% .9 of the moms surveyed in this survey lied. <laughs> What? I, I don't, I, I, I'm telling you, every mom I talk to wants some time alone. So I'm not sure where that survey came from. Next, anchor Marcus Lashak has what's trending at McDonald's. Cactus plant flea market box. What? Which has a Big Mac or 10-piece chicken McNugget with fries and a drink, the uh, streetwear brand. It's also done projects with the likes of Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, 
Uh, customers who purchase the Cactus Plant Flea Market box will be eligible to win merchandise from the companies. Cactus Plant Flea Market. Yeah, it's a brand. It's like a streetwear brand. So those, those are the toys that you you get a toy? Uh, yeah, it's like a it's like a figurine or something. Yeah, wow. like that. That's what you get. Okay. It's adult right. toys. Yeah. Right. Well, not not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. into that one, didn't you, Morgan? Wow. Doesn't happen often. That was Morgan, to be clear. That was not me. I wasn't yeah. sure what they were, but apparently Morgan has the yeah. details. So. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Toys for adults. I don't want to end up on one of those, those viral websites it's now. Okay. It's all right. And we'll, we'll loop it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello there, there was right video now. over it. it. Really, you don't know if it was me or Lauren. <laughs> Go ahead, Marcus. Yeah. All right. Well. New this morning, reindeer name facts with anchors Whitney Martin and David Greenberg. No. Reindeer is known, you know, it's a classic Donner and Blitzen, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you know any other names? Um, no. Okay. Fla well, Flasher? Dasher? Dasher. Okay. Flasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Anyway, so they, uh... You're just making up their names. There's real names that <laughs> right. So it's not Donner and Blitzen. Uh, their names are actually, it's Dunder and Blixem. Oh. So you got like that? Like Dunder Mifflin. Dunder and Blixem. Okay, so those are spelling. They traced this back too. They went pretty back to the Troy newspaper back in 1823. It was Dunder. Then we pronounce it Donder. Donder Mifflin. Yeah, so that's what, yeah, that's what he just said too. Transitioned around 1830s to Donner and Blitzen. Wow. Easier to rhyme with Vixen or whatever uh, lyrics <laughs> that they were singing out of. Mixing up over here. No, I'm ready? totally lost. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you the reindeers, the reindeer names. Can you name any of them? No, okay. not anymore. Don't even try. <laughs> Let's send it out to reporter Christy Matino. She is live at Mary's Land Farm with a new way to relieve stress. You came up with this concept. I mean, it's a pretty interesting concept. I would have certainly never thought of it, but you have an interesting story as to how you came up with it, right? And I'm gonna try to feed little crunch here. Like, yeah, absolutely. Hungry. You ready? Go ahead. So I read the story, The Gentle Barn, and it's a sanctuary out in Tennessee, California, and Missouri. And they have inspired me to run cow cuddling in Maryland. Um, my main purpose is for um, mental health. I really want to help others because it's my own therapy. Well, yeah, it, it's a... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm cracking up over here because they're all trying to get the bottle. You want to um, hold it up a little bit oh, higher. Oh, I'm doing it wrong? No, okay, you're doing okay. it right. All right, I'm doing it wrong. Well, so if uh, clearly I can't run the program because I can't feed the cows properly, but if I wanted to come out here and do a cow... <laughs> I'm Christy. Oh my god! You should do the bottle. <laughs> oh my god! That's Christy. Don't god. let them push you around. You got this, girl. Don't let them push you around. <laughs> Guys, they're strong but mighty. They are very they're strong. strong but Leave mighty. That to the they're little professionals. babies. Oh my goodness! It was like a football team, you know, they're when they little, push those little things back. Little babies. That was cute. <laughs> if, I mean, oh, so. Now to mornings with presenter Joe O'Brien. Now to look at the weather, here is Nate Byrne. I think we'll get to Nate eventually. Ha, do you want me to step in? Yeah, maybe we need, we need a bit more Hang attorney, on. I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> Did you start walking in front of the camera? We've Let's got to get sit this camera. Down. <laughs> um, I, I, here we go. We do have Tony. Um, yeah, tell us what's happening down in Melbourne today with the weather, Tony. Um, well, Melbourne, down here, um, uh, sunny day today. I think we're getting to a top of 14, um, pretty clear. So get your washing done today. Um, apologies to all the people who want uh, Outlook for everywhere else. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on. I've actually got the auto key here now. Well, um, southerlies have been causing hazardous surf for New South Wales, um, uh, but those will be easing today as those winds carry a few more showers into the coast. Queensland has a chance of showers around the Torres Strait and for the southeast coast and islands, but clear skies everywhere else and some widespread morning frost for the interior. Um, and I don't know what that means. Oh, severe weather warnings. Gee whiz, I don't know what's going on behind me, Joe. I'm doing my best, though. I'm doing hey, my best. Vancouver, we're all over the place. <laughs> Tony Armstrong can do anything. He is amazing. He's at Norfolk Island. He's at Nomea. He's Vancouver. He's got it all going on. Cheers, Tony. Right, I'm out. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, Nate Byrne ready there. But uh, um, yeah, just uh, terrific to have the man who can do anything, Tony Armstrong, filling in for a moment.